Hello, you're back. That's fantastic. We've got another great service for you today. We've got some music, we've got some prayers, we've got the wonderful, fantastic Naif. We've also got someone very small but very awesome. It's Milo the Mouse. The Adventures of Milo Mouse. Milo, Milo. Milo, 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 Jesus said, Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the plank out of your eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognised by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Good morning Christchurch. Have you ever been in a situation where you might be with a friend who's saying or doing something that you really dislike or disagree with? Maybe they have habits that really get on your nerves. Well, I think we've all been there before. It makes me think of something Jesus said. And it completely turns that idea of someone really getting under your skin on its head. In Luke 6, verses 41 to 45, Jesus flips it on its head and says, Well, don't look at that friend who's done things to really annoy or irritate you. I think mm -hmm. it's time you ought to look at yourself. He says, Before you remove the speck in your friend's eye, look at the log in your own. Well, that's an interesting one on perspective. Because when something's in your own eye, it seems pretty big. You can't quite see it. But you, it's easier, actually, to see the faults in others than to see them in yourself. Jesus goes on to speak about good fruit. The tree that, the tree that does well bears good fruit. So, fill your life with good things, good thoughts, good deeds, good words, love, hope, and all the wonderful things in life, generosity. And it will yield good things in your life good deeds um, and a good life uh, if you join me later we can make some some uh, some fruit from such a tree made of balloons why not let's keep the mood up and happy so why don't you come and join me let's take a look at ourselves and build some good fruit um, for some kind of a strange weird balloon salad you ready to join me see you soon
joining us for our second bit. So what kind of tree are you? Are you a lemon tree? Maybe you're a strawberry vine? Or a watermelon vine? Well, we're going to do some balloon fruit today. And, um, well, Anna, can I have that balloon, please? So I can blow it up for you. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Start with a balloon. Uh, uh, I don't want you Let's to get cracking. <laughs> blow up your balloon. here but this is one I'm going to give to Anua to play with while I decorate a raspberry. I've only got one tree so far no, is, strictly speaking which is a, um, a lemon a, tree. Be, be like a so I've got a, oh, um, be, a strawberry yeah, um, over here. Just draw a star on the top um, and then fill up oh, fill um, up with lots of little spots. A strawberry. Okay I will do a strawberry for you but just yeah. in a minute. Like over here we're going to do a raspberry. Now that's going to be fun. I'll just do the little crown. And then you just do these cool little cups. See them as little cups? And we're going to keep on doing that. I think that will look like a raspberry. I certainly hope it will. Oh gosh, I certainly hope it will. at the end and see whether this actually looks like a raspberry. Right, so I finished off my raspberry. It could be a raspberry, it could also be an armadillo. You decide. Um, so I'd like you to think really. Balloons are really fun actually and light and airy. It'd be quite fun to decorate one but also think what good fruit are you bearing in your life today? We'll see, we'll catch you for another uh, kid spot. <laughs> another time or maybe we'll see you in church soon that'd be lovely take care and have a wonderful week bye for our prayers today we're going to be using a map this is an overhead map a picture taken from above of christ church from the church and streets and other things that are around it i wonder what you can spot there's a school there's homes there's green spaces, there's roads, all sorts of things. So I'm going to use that to pray. Maybe you could find a map of where you live and use that to pray too. So let's close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, as we look at this map, we see all the things that are on it. We see a school and we pray for all of those children and teachers who learn and work there. We see a park. Can we pray for people who play there, people with dogs and other pets, people who go there for rest and relaxation. We see the roads and the cars. We pray for all those people who have to go to work. And we look at the houses as well. And we pray for all the different people, young and old, who live in those houses near us. May each and every one of them come to know you just as we do. Amen. Well, I hope you've had another good time with us today. I hope you've enjoyed the service and I do hope I get to see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>